Hey guys, what's up? I'm coming at you today with my Ipsy and Boxy Charm from October. I know I am super late on it this time around, but I still wanted to get this up there for you guys so you can see what I got. And maybe for you, those of you that don't have it yet, maybe you might be interested in it based on what I get. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. As always, Ipsy comes in the pink bubble baler. This is the $10 a month subscription. The card says alter egos the back says dare to be different this october transform into whoever you want to be a little imagination and your glab glam bag are all you need infinite possibilities infinite ways to express yourself and if you share photos of your goodies on all social medias and tag your friends you have a chance to win a year's subscription which is always fun and I really do like this bag. It's gold on the front and black on the back. It's pretty sleek and it's definitely, you know, alter ego, one versus the other. And um, let's see what I got. The first thing I see is a little Meat Matte Hues. It looks like, ooh, a lasting liquid lipstick. It's actually a really pretty color. Um, looking to pull a little bit more coral on the camera. It's more pink hued in person. It's actually a color that I would I wear a lot. And I don't I have a couple of things from the balm, I do believe, and it's uh, things that I have gotten in my Ipsy bag. And I thought about purchasing from them before and I saw that they just came out with all these liquid lipsticks, so I'm excited to try that out. The next thing I see is the Dr. Brands Micro Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. You guys know me and my exfoliants. I'm always trying out uh, different things. This one's actually sealed, so I'm not going to open that, but I will try it out. I have tons of them, I won't lie. So it might take me a while before I get to that one, but it is something that I would like to try out. Um, the next thing is an Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. Um, I love hair masks. My daughter actually does too. They're one of her favorite things to use because then she doesn't have to use conditioner for a couple of days. She likes it to keep her hair smooth, so I'm sure we'll both be trying that out. I have two more things in the bag. Uh, one of the things really excites me. I don't know what it is about me and brushes, but I just love brushes. This one is Royal and Langnickel Medium Eyeshadow. And it looks like a shader brush, and it's not exactly sure if it is dual fiber, but it looks dual fiber. I don't know if it's just the color difference in the bristles, but it is a very cute brush, and the handle is kind of like rubbery, so it's like a gripping texture. And then the last thing I got is from Mika Beauty, and you guys know that I like getting Mika from them. This one is a cream eyeshadow in bronze. Looks like that would be... It's kind of hard, but it seems like if you... Yeah, if you start to work it, then it goes... It's kind of like a bright orange... It'd probably be really good for Thanksgiving looks. It'd be a really good base. So that is it for my Ipsy bag this month. I'm actually um, pretty surprised by a couple of things. The um, the things I'll probably use the most are the Mika Beauty, the Meat Matte Hues, and the brush. I usually peek, and I when I th looked, I thought that I was getting different things, so I'm actually really... I'm shocked and happy about that, so I will be trying those out and seeing how I like those. Now I'm going to jump into my boxy charm, and like I said, I think this has been the third month now that they have the black boxes. I think it might have been four months ago that they had started it, but I had still gotten the regular packaging. And then, as usual, there's always like the cool little worms, and I've actually been using these for like other little projects and stuff. And what I liked about this, because it was October, everything in it was like black packaging, you know, to be more representative of like Halloween, which was really neat. And the, um, the theme this month was Faces of the Moon. Like, like, the, like the phases of the moon, a part of us is always hidden. This month, embrace who you are and let the enchanted beauty of your faces show. Remember, you can always be whoever you choose to be. The stars will align in your favor. Let your light illuminate the darkness, charmers. And with BoxyCharm, if you do, like with Ipsy, if you share the, um, your stuff on social media 
and tag your friends, you can win a chance to get a box worth um, $250, which I think is really cool, and they do that every single month, which is really neat. Um, I'm sure it probably shows in my videos, BoxyCharm is definitely my favorite of the two. While I do like Ipsy BoxyCharm, I feel I get a much better value. I pay $21 a month, and I usually always get at least $100 worth of product, which I feel is really great, and I always feel like I'm getting some big treat for myself every month because, you know, we love to buy things and love to get makeup, but you can't always afford it every month. So to get something like this is kind of like treating yourself all the time. So enough of that. Let me go ahead and tell you about the products. The first thing I see is a Palmetto, Palmetto Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask, and it is full size. Sorry about that. My camera died. I don't know exactly what the last thing you heard was, but this face mask... It, um, it's full size and retails for $64, and I believe it's just an all-over uh, face mask, and it says it's an antioxidant mask, so I'll be trying that one out. The next thing I see is the Douce, or Douce, I still haven't figured out how to say that. Punk Volumizing Mascara, it's also full size and retails for $24. Seems like quite large packaging, but I don't really mind that. And I love getting mascaras because, you know, I always keep mine for too long anyway, so I always need new ones. It's a really fat wand, so I'm sure it's really good for plumping as it says, or volumizing. So I'll have to try that out and show you, tell you guys how it works. The next thing I see is Bella Pierre Cheek and Lip Stain. It's full size for $19.99. Um, I usually don't use cream stuff on my cheeks just because I have oily skin, but I'll definitely try it out for my lips. And it looks just like a nice, pretty pink color. And I got two more things here. I see a Colt Cosmetics nail polish, full size for $12. And it's a nice, pretty gray color. I'll have to try that out. It does seem kind of dark, but I'll have to see how it actually looks on my nails to determine if I like it or not. And my very last thing is a Lord & Berry Line & Shade Eyeliner. I got a liner from them a long time ago, like a little coal liner from Ipsy, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping that this is kind of like that one. Yeah, it is. It's just a nice soft black. I'll definitely be using that a lot for the holidays. So again, this box was worth well over $100. And I'm pretty satisfied with all the products that I got in my Boxy Charm and in my Ipsy. So if you guys are interested in those, I'll have the links listed below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Bye!